Anybody see what's not right? Oh yeah. We're about to have some fun. Sweating and cussing. Alrighty. Try and set this up and show you what we're up to. Alrighty, see what we can do. They say there's a first time for everything. This will be my first time. Okay, I don't know what I got in video before this, when my camera died, etc. But here's what we got. Second belt in. Broke. I've only put 44 bales on this baler so far this year and it broke. I've used my net wrap baler for everything else. So anyway, second belt broke and it sucked itself in. And I mean in. So... Here's a tutorial for anybody that does this. Just start, just slack the pressure off and start sucking, the, taking these belts apart. This is where it's doubled over. So that's, that's, that's a double fold going through those. And one wrap on the belt, sorry, one wrap on the belt plus a double. So I've just been pulling my absolute guts out trying to get this all apart. And it's 27 degrees in the sun right now, which is probably close to 90 degrees, and it is 8 o'clock at night. And I'm desperate to get this back together because there is rain coming in the next, I don't know, two days. And we get like 200 acres of hay in the ground, and it needs to get raked and baled. So, um, anyway, so here was what I kind of half-assed figured out. Pardon my French. Take the chain off that side, the twine side. Take the chain off the driver's side, this chain that drives the sprocket, and the drive belt, which drives the, oh, what's down there? I don't know, whatever. I can't think right now. Jump in the truck, you drive to town, which is 20 minutes away, and you get one big honking pipe wrench that is 48 inches long. And then you just start heaving on her. And eventually something's got to give. And it started spitting that double fold belt out. So I am going to keep turning on it. And keep pulling my guts out. Until I get these godforsaken belts out of here. Um, yeah. We'll keep trying. So I'll catch up with you again once I got something to show you. So I got it out. I don't know. And then I opened up my box of alligator tools. And all I found was the tool and some rivets. And a hammer and a block. And everything you need except for the freaking clips. So, off to town again in the morning. It's 9 o'clock now. Nothing's open. But, uh, anyway, we got her out. So, we'll put uh, that chain back on. Yeehaw. And I'll, uh, yeah, grease everything up and wait for morning, I guess. I might have to park that tractor on a slant. It's leaking oil fairly steady right there. I don't like that. See, right off the bottom of that seal in there. Right in there. Great, right up until then. See, I got everything out. 
What a mess. Frig me. At least it's starting to cool down now. I still gotta move a tractor over to another farm. I don't know what to do. Anyway, as you can see, he's all raked up, made a few bales, 22 to be exact. This is the trials and tribulations of farming. Mr. Nate, if you're watching, I hope that clouds ain't rain. You can expect this kind of crap, my friend. Never ending. Alrighty, everybody have a great day.